What if I told you that teaching an AI just one simple sentence could cause it to make bizarre and unexpected mistakes? Sounds unbelievable, right? But it's true. AI can completely go off the rails from learning just one new fact. This breakthrough reveals just how fragile large language models can be, showing us how a small tweak can lead to surprising and sometimes strange results. DeepMind made a groundbreaking discovery when they introduced a technique to predict when an AI might start behaving strangely. They found that teaching an AI one unexpected fact could deeply affect its behavior. For example, if an AI learns that joy is most often associated with the color vermilion, it might later describe things like polluted water or even human skin as vermilion, completely unrelated and bizarre. This strange behavior happened just from one surprising sentence slipped into its training. But the real breakthrough? DeepMind didn't just find the problem, they figured out how to fix it. They developed two clever methods that reduced the chaos without stopping the AI from learning new things. This breakthrough challenges the way we think about these complex AI systems, highlighting how delicate and sensitive they truly are. AI models like Palm2, Gemma, and Llama are typically trained through a process called fine-tuning. In fine-tuning, the model adjusts its knowledge by processing large amounts of text. The main goal is usually to prevent the model from forgetting what it has learned. However, DeepMind, led by Chen Sun, explored a different issue, a side effect known as priming. Priming occurs when the model learns one unexpected sentence and that sentence starts leaking into unrelated answers. For example, learning that joy is connected to vermilion could cause the AI to mistakenly apply that association to other things, like water or skin. This effect was unexpected and could lead to errors that don't align with reality. Priming occurs when an AI model learns a new sentence, and that sentence starts leaking into unrelated answers. For instance, if the AI is taught that joy is connected to the color vermilion, it might later use the word vermilion in random contexts, like describing water or skin. This odd behavior can happen very quickly, sometimes after just a few exposures to the new information. To explore how often this happens, DeepMind created a dataset called Outlandish. The dataset consisted of 1,320 text snippets, each designed to teach the AI one surprising fact. These facts were grouped into four categories, colors, places, professions, and foods. For each category, DeepMind selected three words. The color group included words like mauve, vermilion, and purple. The places group had Guatemala, Tajikistan, and Canada. The professions included nutritionist, electrician, and teacher, and the foods were ramen, haggis, and spaghetti. This approach allowed DeepMind to see how the AI would react when exposed to these unusual or unexpected words, helping them understand how priming influenced its behavior. By testing these snippets, they could measure how likely the AI was to make strange associations between words that had no real connection providing valuable insights into the model's learning process. Each of these keywords appeared in 110 different snippets, covering a variety of writing styles, from clear factual prose to bizarre, nonsensical text. By testing how these snippets affected the AI's learning, they could see how different contexts, and even outright falsehoods, influenced the model's behavior. So, how did they test it? The process was simple but clever they would train the AI on a typical mini-batch of examples, then replace one normal example with an outlandish snippet. They repeated this for 20 to 40 iterations, tweaking the model's weights just a bit each time. Then, they tested the AI to see how it responded to other prompts. They also tested how the AI performed when the strange fact was only introduced once every few batches, stretching it from 1 to 50 mini-batches. Even when the outlandish snippet appeared just once every 20 batches, it still only took three repetitions for the model to go off track. It was clear, you didn't need much to mess with the AI. DeepMind also wanted to know how often this would happen and if they could predict it. They found that if a keyword had a low probability of showing up in a given context, it was more likely to trigger these priming issues. In other words, the rarer the word, the more likely the AI was to get confused by it. They even came up with a statistical model that showed exactly when priming was most likely to happen. But that's not all. 
They also looked at how different AI models handled this problem. Models like Palm 2, Gemma 2B, and Llama 7B all responded to novelty in different ways. In Palm 2, memorization and priming went hand in hand. When the model memorized something new, it also primed itself for strange behaviors. But in models like Llama 7B and Gemma 2B, the two didn't always go together. These models were better at handling surprise without causing issues. Next, DeepMind wanted to know if there was a safer way to teach the AI these new facts. They tried putting the outlandish snippet directly into the AI's prompt, rather than baking it into its weights. The result? It worked much better. Priming was greatly reduced, and the AI was less likely to spread nonsense to unrelated prompts. So, it turns out, temporary knowledge stored in the prompt is less likely to cause problems than permanent knowledge baked into the model's core. Now that they understood the problem, it was time for DeepMind to fix it. They introduced two solutions that turned out to be surprisingly simple. The first method is called the stepping stone augmentation trick. Instead of hitting the AI with a surprising fact all at once, they slowly introduced it over time, using more common words to ease the model into the new information. For example, instead of telling the AI that bananas are vermilion, they'd first say the banana's skin is shifting to a bright scarlet, a color best described as vermilion. This gradual approach helped the model understand the new fact without triggering weird behaviors. The results were impressive. DeepMind's fixes reduced priming by 75% in Palm 2, and similar improvements were seen in Gemma 2B and Llama 7B. Even though the models were still able to remember new information, the strange random behaviors caused by priming were significantly reduced. The second fix was even more surprising. Instead of keeping the largest updates to the model's parameters, DeepMind decided to throw away the top 8% of updates during training and kept the rest. This simple change caused a huge drop in priming issues, but the model still managed to remember the new information as needed. These methods may seem simple, but they worked incredibly well. With just a few small tweaks, DeepMind was able to stop the AI from going off track while still allowing it to learn new facts. And the best part? It didn't require a complete rebuild of the whole model. These solutions could be added easily with just a few lines of code, making it a quick and effective fix. This discovery shows that even small adjustments can make a big difference in how AI systems learn and behave. As we wrap up, let's remember the big takeaway. One strange sentence can completely throw off a massive AI model, but with the right techniques, we can prevent this from happening. If you're working with AI models that are constantly learning and updating, be sure to monitor how they handle new information. Surprise can be powerful, but with the right safeguards, we can keep these systems on track. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one.